Hello everyone, welcome back to the Google Apps Script tutorial series and in today's video we are going to discuss about uh, operators in Google Apps Script and if you are familiar with any programming language like uh, Java, Python or Ruby uh, then you might come across an operator and in Google Apps Script you are going to use the same kind of operators without much different and most of them look like a uh, mathematical function so if you know a little bit of uh, mathematic basic stuff then it would be very easy to learn the operators and uh, this google app script operator is derivated from a javascript operator in today's video we are going to discuss about arithmetic operators let me write arithmetic here so in arithmetic operator you will use a normal um, mathematical functions like plus minus and for multiplication you can use star and for exponentiation you can use a double star and for division you can use a slash and for modulus you can use percentage symbol and increment you can use plus plus and for decrement you can use minus minus so let's uh, let me create a variable let's say i is equal to 2 and we will see you one by one uh, all those operators so first i'm going to use um, the plus operator which is doing an addition so i plus 3 so it should print the sum of 2 and 3 which is equal to 5 so that's the purpose of this normal plus function and if i use a minus then it's going to subtract 2 and 3 and it gives a minus 1 as a value and if you want to do multiplication, you should use a star so that 2 product of 3 which will give 6 here and for exponentiation, you can use a double star so it will give the product of 2 star 2 star 2 so 2 product 2 4 and 4 product 2 8 and that's what it printed here if you look at here it print the value 8 so that's the purpose of exponentiation and division so let me change the variable from 2 to 6 and if I'm going to use the division operator it should be 6 by 3 which is equal to 2 so for normal division you can use forward slash and if you want to find the modulus then you can use a percentage so modulus is nothing but the remainder after dividing the first number with the second number if you take the 6 here 6 percentage 3 the remainder should be 0 and here is what we got 0 so this percentage is take care of giving a division remainder and let's have a look at the increment operator so when we say increment there are two type of uh, increment operator one is a post increment and pre increment the same will be applicable for decrement so this is a post increment uh, let's have a look at both post and pre increment on the use case of it so in a post increment when you use i plus plus and whenever you use a variable i after that it will get incremented for example in this line the i value should be 6 and if i use the same variable i in the very next line if i print i here it's going to get incremented by value 1 so it will print value 7 here so if you look at here the 11th on the 11th line i got 6 and assign the values i is equal to 6 and after this line it get incremented by value 1 and in the 12th line it print the value 7 so this is the purpose of post increment and if you want this variable to get incremented on the same line then you should use pre increment you just need to put plus plus before the variable name and if you print this pre increment you you're going to get a 7 here on the very first line itself and you're going to retain the same value unless and until you modify the variable so the same use case will be applicable for decrement and in decrement we have a two decrement one is a post decrement and pre decrement so this is all about arithmetic operator 
and in the next video we'll have a look at the assignment operator so if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye